Welcome to video 16 in a series of introductory videos for SolidCam. This video's topic will be facing or face turning toolpath inside of the turning or mill turn module. Um, so let's begin. So you can actually access facing either in the tab up here on the ribbon under face or right click on your operations folder or your machine setup to get to add turning operation face. So the operation manager in a turning operation is similar to the milling operation that you would have saw in previous videos where we start with the geometry. The geometry inside of turning is actually a little different. We still use the solid, but we use the solid to define the profiles you would have seen in video 15. The profile that represents the target and the profile that represents the stock. So when we go into the new geometry for an operation, you can see that representation of my machine setup, my jaws is there in orange, representation of my stock in green is there. And all we're doing here is just choosing the profile that represents the operation we'd like to do here. In this case, facing, I'm just gonna choose this line here that represents the solid face that we'd like to machine to. So in this case, all we're really doing here is just choosing geometry that represents the Z location, how far in Z we'd like to face this part. So I just choose that edge there. Now, that yellow line there, represents the face we're turning to. In this case, it has now turned orange. Um, we will be facing, we need to face the entire bar stock right to the edge of the stocks. Um, we don't actually need a line that represents that here. What we do is we take that line that we just selected, accept it, and then when we go to edit geometry, we can click on modify geometry. What that allows us to do is use that geometry that we just selected, but uh, expand it a little bit. In this case, we're gonna extend it to the start of the stock and also extend it to the end of the stock. So now, with that single line, we've defined where in Z we'd like to face to, and with these extensions, we've told it we'd like to go to the OD of the stock, and in this case, the center of the stock, but if there was an ID, it would extend it to the ID of the stock. So click the green check mark, that's our geometry there. If we go to Tool, Select, in our Active Tool Library, I've already predefined a turning tool, so I'll just click Accept. See how to, you, how to define tools and refer, reference you to video two in this series. So in turning, we actually also need to define the mounting of that tool. So you can see right now, the tool is actually mounted in the positive Z direction, but uh, I may not actually use a tool that's defined that way. I might need it to come from the positive X direction. So I can just come to this little uh, icon right here and choose the orientation that looks correct to me. So I'm just gonna come from the positive X direction. Again, if we look at our little tool window, it is correct. Levels inside of a turning operation is simply just the safety distance. Because the operation is actually defined by the profile that we selected, so the end of the operation should look like that, look like that profile, and the beginning of the operation is actually going to turn whatever is there in terms of the stock. So if we return to the geometry section and click show, you'll actually see that the purple, in this case now, represents my, my profile. So we're gonna to turn to that point, but we're actually going to turn from the green section. So in turning, we use the updated stock to define the beginning and the end of, of, a, of a turning toolpath. So let's return to levels. So that's all we're doing there, the safety distance from our last pass, our last cut. Once we go to technology, you'll see that you have control over the rest of the parameters in this operation. In this case, we will be turning on the front face, but you also have the ability, if you had a, um, a backward facing tool, to face the back of a part. Our offsets in Z will be eight thou, and again, you have control over that. We're doing a one-way cut. The working area is defined by the stock, as I just described, and we're just gonna be doing a roughing operation with a step over of 40 thou. Now, this is right now just a roughing operation. I'm gonna add a finishing operation. So I'm just gonna add a final pass just to clean up that face. So let's take a look at what that looks like. Save and calculate. And there we go. There's our 40,000 step over and then a final finishing pass. If we take a look at that in simulation, so there's a representation of our jaws. And if I just press play on that at half simulation speed, we'll see that we turned it down. And if I just turn it slower, couple of passes of 40 thou, and then a final finishing pass. Now, in addition to host CAD, solid verify, and the other simulations that you would have seen in milling, we actually also have a turning simulation. 
which brings us well, it brings up just a cross section of the part and cross section of the stock and the jaws and once again if we press play on that we can see a profile version of that toolpath again just a couple of passes and roughing and then a final finishing pass so that concludes the video on facing or face turning if you have any additional questions you can always call us back at 1-866-975-1115 extension 2 or you can stay tuned for the rest of the videos in the series thank you for watching